Okay, hello there, and welcome back. Um, yeah, it's been a while, I know. I'm back again. Today, we're doing a horoscoping inside Kirtsu because why not? Anyway, we're gonna use this uh, video. I had like no idea that, that, that the Oscars were happening at that time, and then I thought it was funny and stupid at the same time. Uh, nobody cares, right? So, uh, I'm using this just because um, I had to do this for a project like two, three weeks ago, something like that. And uh, I did it. I did it for the project. So I, I'm like, I'm going to show it then to the people, I, I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so I have Krita here. Uh, as you see here on the uh, right, I'm not, I, I still have Krita 5. So this is not the updated version. This is just Krita 5. This is the measures I'm going to use. This is the HD version I picked for a video today. Uh, so I'll click create and hopefully we see a canvas like this uh this is the default uh, setup for uh princess animation you can get that from window workspace and animation so up over there cool uh you will need the animation timeline which here we, you will see your clip once you once you load it well yes so and you're gonna have uh, the layers here on, on the side and basically that's all you need and now you're gonna find your clip. Let's just find our willy nilly uh, Chris whatever clip. Um, so it's, uh, you can click import video animation. I know it says video animation, and that last, last word probably you might, but I don't wanna import animation. Well, you're not gonna import animation, but technically speaking, any video that you watch is a sequence of images that are playing very fast, including this video. So shut up. It's, it's import video, right? Import video, click on that. And you will get today a, a, a window like this, or uh, in Krita they call this a Docker. And go to choose a video file. And um, it's over here for me. And this is my real video. I'm gonna click open and I'm gonna wait. And then, then yeah. Oh, well, I'm not gonna wait, I guess. <laughs> Uh, it says that you cannot open, but ideally, in an ideal world, it, it, it should open, okay? It should open. But sometimes, you know, maybe I don't have the, the newest version of Creature. I, I, I don't know what happens. It, 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 you know, it doesn't want to cooperate. And you go, okay, then. And then you hit X here, because you're not going to do this shit. So you <laughs> go to File, uh, and then let's try the other way the other way around is to uh, import image frames which again is a little bit misleading if you're not very into this kind of stuff uh go to import animation uh, frames and this here will allow you to import images now i know that you have a video and you're like i want to import my video well if your video doesn't want to get imported in Krita this way there's another way and that's the other way another way this way but before you use this way, you need to make sure that you have your video that you have, which ideally should be under 20 seconds, by the way. And to render that video, this is this light is bright. Ah, I have bright eyes last time I checked. Ah, so bright. Uh, so I have my video here. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I cannot uh, do this on this. On, I, I just move around stuff. So. I almost moved. I almost moved to a house where they had one of those small rooms underneath the stairs. I opened the, the door to that room uh, while when we were looking, and uh, I did not uh, find how I put it there. Or Dobby, or no one, so too bad. <laughs> but anyway, here though, I know what <laughs> I, I know. This is a weird transition. Uh, here, I need to have my video to be instead of a video. To be uh, imported, exported as uh, image sequence or something like something. Okay, come here, Chris. Something like this. In order to do that, use your video editing program, whatever video editing program you have. Google, like we use on YouTube, like search on YouTube to export video to image sequence with the program you have. I have the video so I know how to do that in the video so some of you may not know how to do that in Premiere Pro or the other programs that you have. So just change the name of the program and see how you can um, export your video into image sequence. Because it's important, okay? It's important to get your video into images. So once you have that, 
you go to this uh, way to this option add images and then you find your uh, folder and then i'm not gonna import the whole video because again it's too long i have no intention to do that and maybe from this frame um, maybe to this frame maybe to that frame uh, at least to get the slot and we hit open and then we hit okay we don't have to uh, like move uh to change the timing where to start when to end just hit okay and be patient because good stuff just good stuff they, i guess they take time we have our video here before i click play i just want to make sure that this frame uh, number is 95 so i go over here and i change my end of my animation to 95 click enter and now go to the first frame which is frame zero in our case and click that that's your first frame click play and enjoy <laughs> so we have our videos very short i know but rotoscope is oh it's been yes rotoscope is very 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 slow so if you want to rotoscope all these frames it will, it will take you a while so i'm gonna stop this and from here what you do well you lower your opacity of your video, right? It's on this layer. We can double click on that. We can call this video. Yeah, like, oh my God. Video. Enter. And we can zoom in the video action. How to do that? Make sure you add a uh, right button on your video layer. Right button there. Go and add a, 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 a transform mask. And all that transform mask go to the transform to uh, give me a second uh, zoom no zoom in not zoom out zoom in a little bit hit shift to maintain the proportions uh maybe here click enter uh, now why i'm using the transform mask because i want to get all of of these frames together to move them together and that's the way you can do that because if i come here and i click on the first frame and then start moving that first frame the rest of the frames they will not follow so it's good once you you position your uh, video video file video layer lock that video layer okay so you won't be able to draw that layer because you might you might draw by mistake on that so new layer from here because it's important to have a new layer i'm gonna call this layer Chris, can I type? Yes, okay. I hate my keyboard. Uh, double click on next layer. We're gonna call this my original names. Enter. My advice is if you want to animate characters, if you want to rotoscope characters, and even anything else, right? Do one at a time. So I'm, first, I'm gonna focus, let's say, on on, on Will. It's because at least he apologized. At least on this one, and there's no moving. This one is moving, so we're gonna go with Chris, uh, with Will, and it's too dark, too bright actually. So can I change that? Yeah, I can. I can. Maybe that's too much. Maybe fifty percent. Go back to the wheel. Go back to your brush. Um, you can choose any brush for that matter. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, by the way. I just wanna. Let me. I just wanna show you. Uh, the ways you can do that it's very dark but let's just improvise i guess this will be his head um i'm not <laughs> i'm not trying to be very detailed here and even his jacket is not that visible uh, so ideally we're gonna have something like uh, this this jacket will be awful i don't know why i turned to mickey mouse uh but that's that's, that's the way it is oh -hoo! Uh, and then the leggies. Again, you don't have to be very precise. I'm not. I'm not taking my time here, but <laughs> because of the, you know, I think I'm trying to be fast here, not to waste your time. So this is the first frame. I didn't create a new keyframe, which is stupid of me. But uh, let's keep. I'm not gonna go for all the frames, by the way. So this is frames four. So what I can do is come here, add a new keyframe. So the previous drawing is gone, the previous keyframe is gone. So basically the first keyframe will be visible for one, two, three, four. So now 
we got an anime on fourth. So fourth every 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 for after every fourth frame, we're gonna create a new keyframe which will be on the fifth frame. So over here we have a completely black keyframe that we can work with and we can create the new this is just Oh Why? Today is Mickey, I guess. Ah! Hit Ctrl Z uh, if you're not quite happy with whatever you're doing. Uh, be mindful with your control and Z's. Uh, I'm just like trying to figure out what the hell is happening. In the dark, dark. So we could go back and forth with, between our friends from there's a um this light sprite me. Uh, there's shortcuts on your keyframe, those shortcuts that you see on there. So it's a bit off uh here. I um, mean we don't see much of his little teeny hand. Now I'm <laughs> next frame will be over here if I use my shortcuts. I will show you the fifth frame and the fifth frame. I'm gonna create a new keyframe. So now we can see a different position. Again, I'm not trying to be detailed, but if you want to be detailed with your, you should be detailed with your drawings, right? Especially if you're tracing your live action footage, you would like to get the right silhouette. Oh, uh, the whole hit, uh, you will see it in a, in a second. I'm gonna see this. Uh, the whole hit, it's kind of weird because we don't see uh, uh, Will to like swing the, the hand backwards. Like you don't see the anticipation usually that you see uh think about i mean yeah punching like you in order for you to punch obviously don't punch people and that's bad uh but okay let's say jumping right if you in order for you to jump you need to lean back get the get the power to jump and uh i thought my mom was coming i did close on her i'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an amazing child now you can uh activate your audience key to see the previous keyframes but when you're tracing your footage uh, maybe that's not always ideal because you might get um uh, mis uh, you can get easily uh, mistaken with that for example see here his i was going to call this a cape uh, see his jacket here on uh on the on this frame over here that his jacket is missing so he's like naked or whatever like he's just drawing jacket i guess uh so over here i can uh, send off the uh onion skin um, and to continue my amazing tracing, um, I, I was watching this, uh, I watched this channel where, what's the name of Color of Crew, they have, um, analyzing, or aka a reacting stuff, uh, to, uh, um, fights, like stunts and fights and uh, visual effects, and, uh, yeah, they're interesting too, because they, they kind of break them down. Especially uh, the stunts, I, I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't know, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a stunt expert, but once you see how, how much work is put into something, and the next time you watch a movie where they, they, they do shit, you're like, oh my god, I know why they did that. So, in, uh, but if you're even a uh, visual artist yourself, even if you're not drawing, you would know that. Her scoping is it's just pain in the, in the, in the, in the, in the butt it's because it does take time and it, and uh, you have to do this frame by frame. Now I'm not doing this frame by frame. As I said, I'm not going to do this frame by frame. But that's the uh, sometimes you have to do it frame by frame, right? Um, so that's um, that's also uh, where frame by frame is used a lot, and that's in, in the visual effects that we watch. The big blockbusters. We can hide this and see what we have here so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's getting there, right? You can do this to be even more smooth if you animate on, on less frames. We decided to animate on on fours. Uh, I'm gonna open the the ones that the one that I actually did. And I'm gonna go through that one. I'm gonna show you what I did. And that, and that that will be it, I guess. Today, creature, open up today. I might, I might go and get coffee, I guess, and come back. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna go and get coffee. You stay here.
Oh my god, are we there yet? We are. So, this was... Uh, I didn't name these, didn't I? Just name your stuff, okay? It's just, it's, I don't know what the heck is this. I kind of did a little bit different here, as you know, because I didn't just animate everything on four, so five, so whatever. I tried to change this. So, let's see what we have here. Shut up. We are. And maybe... Maybe this transition from here was off. But it kind of worked well. I did I did make him have a little bit of duck face there. This is just optional of course. Uh, but here's the video beneath that. And the background's there. So that's the that's the that's the that's the that we got and we got a little lightnings happening all around to Eyes on the head because, as I said, there was no anticipation in this. He just he even didn't. We, we at least from that angle, we didn't see him swinging his head, head, head oh my God, his hand. We didn't see his hand. We didn't. We didn't see Willie swinging, swinging. We did not see Will swing his hand backwards and then forwards. At least from this angle, so kind of looks weird. Uh, here I did animate or on one. Oh my god, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve frames. Uh, again, if you animate on lower frame, I would have burned that. What the hell? Oh. This is also an example. If I hide the footage and just play this, now I cannot play this because I have set this to be from this to this. Zero frame until zero seven maybe. I will just seven. Okay. La 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 la. So he's like very weirdly, like very choppy. The movement is very choppy because we, I didn't add uh, more frames to this. But that's the idea. What you gonna? You can do. You can do better. Okay. So let's say I'm happy with this roller scope that I did, and I can hide the background. Because let's say I want to put this on top of a video, for example, or I can just save this the way it is here. Uh, either you go to File, right? You go to Render Animation, which is the, the way you do stuff, uh, and then you go to Video if your um, if your build up is working. If it's not, I'm gonna show you. it's okay. We, we got you, fam. And you can export the editor as MP uh, MPEG or. Uh, and you have your your uh, uh, beginning of uh, your animation and your end of your animation, and you have the size as well, and you have the frame rate. And ideally, if everything works, you just click OK. You choose where to save this, obviously, and then you choose OK, and then you have a video. But if your build up doesn't work and you want to put this on top of a video, like let's say this video, uh, you can remove the background, and you can just um, Render this on uh, render as render animation, and once that window pops up, you can render this as image sequence. I have made a video like this before, and and then you go to image sequence again, same thing where your animation starts and where animation ends, in what format. Ideally, that format will be PNG. The location you need to pick, and you need to well, I call this punch but obviously it could be called something else and then you hit ok and then you will end up with a folder with images of your animation that you can use uh, you can use any video editing program to use your image sequence on top of a video and that's, that's how it goes um thanks so much for watching this will be all for me for today uh i will make more videos probably in the future i don't know when but until then thanks so much uh like this video if you did if you didn't dislike it, it's fine. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see you uh, in, in, in the next one before I go blind from this stupid light. Uh, I don't know when. I mean, when I'm going to see you. I don't I, Not the blind. I, 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 I'm I awkward now. Okay. Bye. Bye. For now.